What is good guys? This is episode 8 of Sid and we are going to hop right into it. Not with this car because I got to go buy the new one. And if you guys didn't know and are new around here, Sid is a can it drift. We are testing every car in the game to see can we make it drift. I'm trying to put a build on every single car because I have the money to do so. And I'm trying to do, see what I can put on the car in order to make it drift. So if you guys are excited for this video and the series, leave a like on the video and we are going to get into it. So we are at the dealership right now and I am going to go purchase the car we are using for this episode. And now, some of you, I'm going to give you a little tip or a little hint before I get to the actual car. This is my favorite car in the game. However, I'm going to see can we make it drift. So... If you are a longtime watcher on my channel, then you already know what car I'm looking for. I, I don't even know where it is, but I'll find it in this. Oh, here we go. It is the Porsche Panamera Turbo, and this thing is an absolute beast. I have a regular car build on this car. If you guys wanted to check it out, it will be in the top right-hand corner of your screen right now. But I'm telling you guys, this thing is an absolute monster. So I am super excited about this episode to see can we make this thing drift and see what we can do with it. As you guys can see already, it does have a little bit of slide in it and that's pretty good. I like to test out the cars a bit before we actually go put a build on it. So what I'm going to do is go back to my garage, customize this car out and test out everything on the car, every part that I can put on it to see what's the best possible setup to put on the car to see if we can make it drift. So I'm going to see you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so I am super excited to bring this build to you. I had so much fun using this car. Like I said in the beginning, this is my favorite car in the game, and I just had so much fun testing it out and drifting with this car. It was absolutely amazing. So I'm just giving you guys a few angles of the car right now because this thing is beautiful and the wrap on it is very clean. So with that said, we are going to get into the build right now. So for the performance, we are rocking with Ultimate Plus everything. We have a turbo it's the root supercharger you already know the deal it's pretty much the best for drifting in my opinion now the nos doesn't really matter the engine we did swap in the forged 5.0 liter v8 and this thing is an absolute monster guys the max horsepower is 1532 which is super insane our car doesn't reach that standard it's at 1406 because of all the drift parts that we put on but Overall, the horsepower is still insanely high. Now, from here, the suspension. We are rocking with the Pro version drift suspension. I tried everything else, and that seems to be the best one. The tires, I'll get into a second. You guys can see they are super, but the drivetrain, there's only one clutch, so obviously Elite Plus. The gearbox, I'm rocking with the 6-speed. Now, the 7-speed, it doesn't really change much, but the 8-speed, I found it works a lot better. So... I don't know. The, it depends on how you want to use it, really. The 6-speed and 8-speed are nice, so either one, it doesn't really matter. I had more fun using the 8, but I think the 6 might just give you a little bit extra points for using it, so choose whichever one you guys would feel you know fits how you want to play the game. Now, for the differential, we are also rocking with the Pro Drift Differential, so this car has two Pro parts on it. I don't know why, but those seem to be the best four points and just overall sliding in the car now back over to the tires we're using the super drift tires I thought for some reason you know like the pro version of the tires would help it but the super drift tires seem to be the best for this car I tried the elites too these ones just seem to allow you to get that slide just a little bit better now for the brakes like I stated before in other SID series I'm just gonna be leaving the brakes stock so whatever the car comes with for brakes it's just I'm leaving it at that that way we can just kind of you know kind of put all of the cars on somewhat of a level playing field to see you know can they do it or not maybe the other brakes are better but I'm just gonna be leaving the brakes alone so I'm gonna hop outside real quick show you guys the live tuning and then just go over how it drifts and just explain it while I do it on the drift track and then I'm gonna leave you guys with some gameplay for the car drifting and you can let me know down in the comment section can or can it drift Unless you guys go know now, I think it can drift. But that's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comment section once you finish watching the gameplay and observing how the car actually handles and performs. The uh, 
the camber on the car, it's all just to the right as far as you can go, except for the height, that's all the way to the left. Now, the live tuning, I'm rocking with the steering all the way up, downforce all the way down, traction control off, and drift style to gas. So, with that said, I'm now gonna go over to the drift track right here and show you guys exactly what I mean. So, if you guys want to see a car on a future SID episode, then do me a favor and leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of car you would like to see next. And if you see a car that somebody has already commented, leave a like on their comment so that way it gets pushed up higher and I can go based off of the most voted cars because that's what you guys want to see. So with that said, we are going to get into the drift right now. And this thing switches super easily. You guys are going to see right now. Like, this car is just so much fun to drift with. Like, look at that. Just easily into the next corner. And it does push up the multiplier pretty high. That's what I really like about it is that it doesn't stay kind of on the border between a level 4 and a level 3. It pushes the multiplier up a lot and just slides very easily. Right now, I'm just kind of pulling over with my left analog stick and not really using my handbrake to switch too much. But when you do use the handbrake to switch, your car swaps over super, super easily, allowing for really nice transitions. So that was a pretty low score for me. What I've been hitting with this car is usually 120,000 to 130,000. And it, it's honestly just so much fun to use. Like this, this car already was my favorite and now it, I didn't even know. So now it's even more of my favorite. To be honest, I'm having a lot of fun just driving it around. It isn't the best car to get a super high point score with. You guys already know what those cars are, but it's just a really fun car to use for drifting and just all around just enjoying the car and enjoying the game. So I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay on me just doing a drift track. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section, but really quickly before we do, you have to listen to the engine just because... It's insane. Like, this is my favorite part about the car. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but, like, I, I just enjoy this car so much. So, enjoy the gameplay. Enjoy the music. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section after you watch the gameplay to see can or can it drift.
Okay, guys, so remember to let me know down in the comment section what you think of this. I absolutely loved using the car on this drift track. I had a ton of fun. It's honestly my favorite car. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the videos you see on your screen right now. And don't forget to let me know what you think down in the comment section. But anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. Make sure you let me know what car you would like to see in the next episode of Sid. Peace.